Hey, it's Aurelius. In this video, you're going to discover 10 free useful tools that you can start using today to make you more productive, make your workflow a lot more seamless, and overall, just find some pretty cool and neat tools that you can use starting today. All right, this first tool is called Text to Note. And what you do is you can paste in any text that you want. Let's say this user interview, and then out comes all of these notes, kind of like post-it notes, which makes it incredibly useful, especially if it's something long and and you just want to get the gist of it in a sort of visual way and color coded way. So you can see here, Dr. Johnson has been using Health Track for three months. Dr. Johnson's practice has two and a half thousand active patients, goes on and on. So starting from the beginning, you can simply paste in your text. It could be literally anything. It could be some YouTube script that you extract from a YouTube video, paste it in, and then you can get summaries of it. Or let's use one of these other examples here, such as this technical doc and this is just another example that they provide and you'll see here minimum hardware requirements include four cores cpu and eight gigabytes of ram software required all of that is a legal contract as well if you want to get the gist and just get the highlights of it you can take a look at what it produces here so the next time you're doing a bit of research and planning in conjunction with perhaps some other ai tools such as ChatGPT and claude why not use text to note and this is great because you don't need to sign up at all all you need to do is just paste in your text. Next up, we've got this text-to-speech model called openai.fm. And right away, when you head to openai.fm, you'll see these options right here where you can choose the AI voice, choose the vibe. You can also enter, of course, your script. And down below, you can actually set the parameters such as the voice effect, whether you want it soft, gentle, and anything else you want to include there, the tone, the pacing, emotion, things like that. So these have already been pre-filled for you based on the vibe. So in this case, I'm going to choose Nova and Serene as the vibe. And this is what has been pre-filled. Although you can go ahead and add your own uh, prompts to the section right here. But we're going to use this as an example. And we've got a pre-written script right here. Let's go ahead and we're going to play it. Hello, and welcome to your moment of mindfulness. I'm so glad you're here. And that's it. There's a maximum character limit of 1,000, which is still pretty generous because what you can do then is download it right away. There's no opt-in required, no payments. As I said, this video is about free tools that you can use, which is great. And this was kind of made as an interface for OpenAI's API text-to-speech. In a practical use, you could very well put in a script and then download that voice once generated and then put it and sync it up with a video of yours. All right, I'm excited about this next one and it's called Supercut. Supercut allows you to record your screen, but not only record your screen and share it, but also making it look really attractive with your screen on the left or whatever position you want. And then you've got your webcam right here and a generated table of contents all powered by AI. So for instance, I recorded this little quick demo here. You can see my webcam, this bubble effect here, and it automatically generated the table of contents here. Got supercut introduction, pricing and availability, installation and resolution. And what you can do when you go to edit is, let's say we wanna change the theme. We can do it in one click by going here, click on new theme, and then choosing our colors there. And what's great is with layouts, you can automatically put in your face cam anywhere you want, right, right here or right there on the left in a circle format or in a more square slash circle format there. Or you can simply get cutouts kind of like that green screen effect. Or if you like the side-by-side -side look, there's these ones right here. So really great. And the great thing is you don't need to have any editing or video editing skills. The native app can be downloaded for Mac OS or you you can simply download the Chrome extension, which I did, and you can't see this, but right here on the top bar, you simply click that, enable your webcam, enable your microphone, and choose which window or screen you want to record, 
and away you go. As mentioned, because I compiled a list of 10 free useful tools, Supercut is absolutely free at the moment during its public beta. So get onto this quickly if you do want to give it a try, demo it out and then see what videos you can produce with it. All right, next up, we've got a product by Google and this one is its AI Studio. You may or may not have heard of it, but if you haven't tried it yet, you're missing out. There's a great set of tools here that you can start using. So you can create a prompt just like you would with ChatGPT. Let's say the evolution of AI, run it. And right away in, in a few seconds, you've got your result. At the very top, you can choose the tone and style such as make it calm, make it professional, make it more casual or personal. On the right, there's some fine tuning settings. You can choose the model based on whichever uh, it is at the time of this recording. And they also release some of its uh, newest uh, models such as Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. So it's a great playing ground in general, this AI studio. Yes, it may look a little intimidating when you look at it first because there's so many little options and functionalities there, but uh, you can ignore most of it if you're just a regular user because this was kind of made for developers to kind of play around with. It's a, it's a playground and, you know, you can get an API key, plug it into your own app just so you can play around with all that. And right here, continuing on, we've got the token count. So you get about a million tokens per kind of chat prompt and you can change the temperature, how creative you want it to be in terms of the output. Do you want it to be more creative or more basic and straightforward it really depends on what your prompt is so if you need a straight up answer like what's the capital of australia then you input that and it really does need much creativity whereas if you're writing a bit of sales copy of some sort then yes you want to be a bit more creative or let's say you're writing a new blog post or a youtube uh, script then yes, you want to increase that uh, down to the right side a bit more. And that's just a prompt tool that they have. You've got some starter apps as well, like Spatial Understanding, a Video Analyzer, uh, Map Explorer, and also this prompt gallery, which is quite useful if you want uh, some ready-made prompts to use, like Trip Ideas, Code Optimizer, List from Image, uh, right here on the left, there's also a feature called Stream Real Time. I've got another video dedicated to Stream Real Time specifically. Look in the description box below. What this will allow you to do is basically talk to Gemini, the AI model, about you know real time conversation. So you're using natural language right there, talking back and forward with AI, so that you can get answers for whatever you are attempting or trying to do. You can also show Gemini. So using your webcam. So I'll enable this right here. And if I show something like, what is this, Gemini? The man is showing the back of his phone. It appears to have a case on it with a MagSafe charging ring. And that's how you can use your webcam, for instance, to show uh, Gemini what you're looking at, maybe wanting a further explanation about it. In addition to showing things to Gemini on your webcam, you can also share your screen and it'll guide you in a way where, let's say you're on Canva or some other application, and then you're asking, how do I create a new canvas or how, how do I create a new template, things like that it will guide you on, on exactly what to click on, what to type, things of that nature. And that right there is Google's AI Studio, completely free to use. All right, this next tool is called AI Color Match by a company called Next. It's completely free. What you do is you upload a photo that you kind of like the look of. Let's say this look right here, or this look right here in terms of the grading. So when it comes to grading, it's basically the stylization and the look of it. So do you like a retro vintage look as opposed to a darker, moodier look? So that is what you can do. Now on the right side, you add your own image. So let's say you like one image I'll upload right here. So for instance, I'm going to use Matt D. Vella's channel right here. I really love his color grading right here and the look of it. It's got this warm tone to it. And I'll just uh, click on this video, for instance. And what I'm going to do now is download the thumbnail of his uh, video. Uh, with the vidIQ, it does conveniently offer the thumbnail right away, so I can download it right here. Otherwise, you can easily just copy the YouTube link, use a tool like youtubethumbnaildownloader.com, enter it in, and then there's the thumbnail ready to download. What you want to do next is click on the plus, upload the thumbnail, 
There we go. And now I'm going to add my image. Here's an image of me in front of the Harbour Bridge and watch what will happen. What you're looking at right now is the original image. And as I swipe left, you can see a preview of the graded photo based on the colors of Matt DeVilla's thumbnail right here. So it's a great match right here. Let's say I don't like that. I can always choose something else like this. It's got more of the bluer, cooler tones. And right there, it's matched it as best as it can. So here's the before, here's the after, before and after. And what I can do now is download the photo that's graded or even download the LUT so that I can upload it to something like Lightroom. The next tool is called GraphFast. And if you wanna be able to create beautiful line graphs in seconds without signing up, use this tool, click on Start Creating, and right away you can customize and modify the line graph with the graph name. So let's say for the chart title, we can say active YouTube users, if that's something you want to create a line graph out of. And for the X axis, I will put in time and for the Y axis, I'll put in users. So now we've got the time, the year, and the number of users, and you can change then the style of your line graph as shown. And of course, you put in your data set right here. You can also import from a CSV file, so right here, so that you actually get real values. And once you've completed your line graph, click on download PNG, and then you can embed it to your reports, your website, or what have you. Next up, we've got a productivity tool called Zencan or Zencan. And what you do with this is simply drag and drop your notes. So you create boards like this, it's very visual. You've got different columns and sections, one for your main to-dos and then one where you're actually doing it and then done could be on the other side. And with this, you can drag the sections so that it's bigger. So it's very visual, very intuitive. So if you do want to add, let's say more to-do lists, you can do so and rearrange things as easy as dragging and dropping right there. You can add more to-dos, for instance, by clicking on the main column and then clicking on plus that will add a new child so this could be a new to do of yours and then you can format this with bolding and hitting ones and twos and threes or whatever you like you can have different kanban boards for the different sections and categories of your life so it could be one for work one for your personal life one for your notes things like that so really handy especially if you want an all-in-one kind of way or place where you can house all of your notes and to-dos. Okay, next up, we've got a tool called Twos. This is another productivity app and really simple, minimalistic way of organizing your notes, to-dos, reminders, and more. So under lists, you create all of your lists. So you could have different sections such as a grocery list, a wish list, a habit tracker. And what you do then, let's say with your wish list, I currently on my personal wish list is a Sony ZV-E1 camera body, 16 millimeter f1.8. Uh, lens, Amaran F22X Lite. And then there's even more options by clicking on this dot here and you can do things like set reminders, add photos, tags. You can edit and create sub lists, of course, rearrange things. One feature of twos is that let's say you're on your wish list and you've got these list of items that you wanna buy. There's these smart suggestions, click that and then you can see that you can view this product on Amazon, Walmart, on eBay or search Google. So let's say on Amazon and then it'll display that exact product so that you can go ahead and research or look it up or buy it right away. With something like a habit tracker that repeats on a periodic basis and and this is like a daily habit track, I'd say. You can click it once right here where the dot is, click on reminders, and then you wanna make sure you set your reminders at a certain time, set the repeat to daily, for instance, and then it'll automatically display that task every single day for you. When you click on home, it'll display everything in a kind of nice dashboard and bird's eye view. The next tool is called Pic2Chart. With Pic2Chart, you're able to generate infographics, you can do posters, banners, Instagram posts, reports, and newsletters all instantly using the power of AI. All you need to do is enter a simple text prompt such as the evolution of social media. I'm going to choose a list type 
out of the infographic categories right here and then click on generate infographics and in a matter of seconds it's produced the infographic for me from here i can choose a different design for instance i can also change the content so different content and the different arrangements too if i'd like to do so and we can dial in the colors as well by going to colors you can then further customize your graphic by clicking on edit this infographic and you'll be taken to a more advanced editing mode and once you're ready to download your graphic click on download and because you're on the free plan you can only download a png file and there's a limit of two files per workspace and that's the only caveat because it is only a free account all right this final tool is called tiny wow and i was actually wowed over this because there's a ton of great tools useful tools that you could use on a daily basis for instance if i go to video tools you'll see a list of these tools like YouTube videos to text. So you can convert those YouTube videos into text, get summaries out of that. And you've got this Instagram video downloader, TikTok video downloader. You can compress your videos, get transcripts. You can trim your videos, resize it. All these things, all available. Let's say we're gonna do a video to text, simply upload your video or drag the file and then it'll do it for you. Or let's say you're working with some content, we can click on AI Write. And there's a ton of writing tools right here, such as a story generator, content improver, content summarizer, change the tone of voice of your writing and so much more. There's just so many tools uh, to, that I could talk about, but I'll leave it up to you. All of this is freely available at tinywow.com. As a quick example, let's say you wanna get the text out of a YouTube video. Simply click on YouTube to text, paste in the URL of that YouTube video, and then in seconds, the text will be extracted, as you can see here, complete with timestamps too. And there we go, friends. Those are 10 free useful tools that you can give a try today. On that note, let me know in the comments which of these are your favorites or which one stood out to you. I'd love to know. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next.